Partnerships are the future of sustainable international development. USAID is embracing a new approach to partnerships that makes information and resources more open and accessible to everyone. We call this the Global Development Commons. In West Africa, a commons is emerging to connect the full spectrum of development practitioners, farmers and traders to information, tools and infrastructure to help optimize regional agricultural trade. The following video shows three examples of innovative and collaborative efforts in West Africa to highlight the potential of a commons to build agricultural capacity. For example, you will see how a forward-looking company called Tradenet.biz connects West African farmers and traders to market price information through mobile phones and online social networking. By enabling people to share information, make better informed decisions in real time, and trade goods and services more efficiently, a commons can extend the promise of improved food security to a region where millions of people face malnutrition. The West Africa trade corridors flow over 3,000 miles from Senegal to Nigeria and points in between. USAID and its partners are embracing a commons approach to improve agriculture markets along these corridors. By promoting collaboration through new technologies, the open approach of the commons can help link producers to markets, provide farmers with high yield inputs, and enable traders to access market pricing information. Africa need to be developed, need to fight poverty and hunger. The best way to do it is to make alliance with the African people, to let them lead their own development, because we know what we need. The African Union articulated the need for transnational trade corridors in its comprehensive African Agricultural Development Program, or CADAP. CADEP as a whole is a real framework to develop agriculture. Pillar 2 also is raising all the matter of infrastructure to be sure that we can carry goods from one point to another. Responding to this need, USAID and partners are connecting agricultural producers to markets, helping to improve food security in the region. Is there a potential in trade in West Africa? Uh, estimates go up to $20 billion, which is 50 times more than what we have right now. The overland transport cost to move a ton of goods is the highest in West Africa of anywhere else in the developing world. Our main uh, focus has been to work with civil society organizations, non-governmental organizations, in trying to identify uh, barriers to trade such as unofficial stops uh, by government and other officials where truck drivers are harassed or are forced to pay bribes. And then these barriers charges prices that we pay before we can pass with our onions. Knowing very well that onions are perishable goods and they can get spoiled. To help enhance regional trade, USAID is developing innovative mapping technologies to link food insecure areas with areas of high agricultural production and eliminate barriers to trade between them. Information is a key issue. Before moving good, you have to know who needs this good, where you have to move your good, what is the prices of market. This is also information system. Rice is an important staple across West Africa but Liberia produces relatively little. This mapping technology shows that there are many optimal areas for rice production. It also shows how infrastructure investments can link farmers in these areas to regional markets. In a commons, leading universities and regional associations like the Africa Rice Center, or WARDA, are collaborating to share emerging science and new technologies in staple food products like rice, I think it's very important to, to put more emphasis on the importance of rice in Africa. The Global Development Commons 
helps to move the latest innovations out of the laboratory and into the field. NERICA is uh, the acronym for New Rights for Africa. The impact of NERICA is, can be seen everywhere in Africa, in every country that we've taken the, the NERICAs. In all of those countries, we've got much higher yield. Uh, with this level of production, then Africa is saving something like a hundred million US dollars, which otherwise would have gone into the importation of crops from Thailand and from China and, and from other places. Ultimately, the Global Development Commons empowers people with information. TradeNet is an enterprising private firm in West Africa that puts market pricing information into the hands of ordinary farmers and traders. TradeNet is a, an innovation. Uh, we're using technology to help people within markets uh, move information around faster and more cheaply. It's particularly important in rural areas uh, because often you'll find uh, producers are at quite some disadvantage in terms of uh, selecting a price or knowing what kind of price to, uh, to set for their product. A farmer on his farm harvests, let's say, 500 kilograms of maize and wishes to find prospects. So what he does is that he'll pick his mobile phone and send a text message. So let's say, I have M-A-I-W to sell, maize white to sell. And um, immediately our system receives this uh, message on a GSM modem, processes it, and looks for all uh, prospective buyers across Africa. So we're finding that really what we're building is a technology platform that is really a uh, rural computing platform where you're just facilitating the move of information and the information can be any kind of information not just price data but it can also be microfinance uh, it can also be uh, health information it could even be government information so we're seeing all of these applications uh, emerging that could be plugged into a platform like TradeNet. The challenges of long-term food security require an innovative approach. The Global Development Commons empowers people to find solutions and prosper in the global marketplace.